and the cartoon cancellations just keep coming and coming. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking Pepe Le Pew from the Looney Tunes franchise and how he is no longer going to be a part of the Space Jam sequel. I believe it's called Space Jam, a new legacy coming out on July 16th. Uh, is it on HBO Max, I believe? But in any case, <laughs> I'm, look, don't get me wrong. There are certain people and things that should be canceled for various reasons, but I've just become numb to the cancel culture headlines because it's all too often somebody or something is trending for being canceled. And I, it's whatever. But in any case, turns out there was a scene that was actually filmed for the upcoming sequel that has now been removed. And here's what it says. Uh, Pepe Le was set to appear in a black and white Cas Casablanca-like Rick Cafe sequence. Pepe, playing a bartender, starts hitting on a woman at the bar, played by Gracie Santo. He begins kissing her arm, which she pulls back, and then slams Pepe into the chair next to hers. Then she pours her drink on him and slaps him hard, sending him spinning in the stool, which is then stopped by LeBron James's hands. He and Bugs Bunny are looking for Lola, and Pepe knows where she is. Pepe then tells the guys that Penelope, Penelope Cat has filed a restraining order against him, and James remarks that Pepe can't grab other tunes without their consent. Upon learning of the scene being cut, Santo, the actress who was in the scene with Pepe, uh, was upset according to her spokesperson. Uh, she herself has been a victim a, of sexual harassment and has spoken out against it, even recording a debut single back in February 2018 um, to empower women to stand up to sexual predators and sexual harassments. She actually took joy in shooting the scene with Pepe because the skunk finally gets his comeuppance. Uh, this was such a big deal for her in the movie even though pepe is a cartoon character if anyone was going to slap a sexual harasser like him she wished it would have been her now that the scene is cut and she doesn't have that power to influence the world through younger generations who will be watching the movie to let younger girls and younger boys know that pepe's behavior is unacceptable and it was also mentioned that here I, I completely forgot about this i might i may have heard about it but it flew under the radar the old Looney Tunes streaming on HBO Max banned Elmer Fudd from using a gun given the modification in response to U.S. gun violence. Now, I... Let me put it this way. Pepe was never, like, to me, an essential Looney Tune. Um, he, it was funny to watch as a kid, but obviously, growing up, it was like, oh my god, I watched this? Because I remember... It was like at Ollie's or something. I actually still have this DVD and it'll probably be worth something in the next few weeks. Uh, it was a Looney Tunes compilation disc. I want to say it has about 10 Pepe Le Pew cartoons. I remember my nephew, he was like maybe five or six at the time. And I remember watching it with him. I'm like, whoa, 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 what the hell? No, 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 Pepe. Because this dude was literally stalking uh, Penelope, that cat. You know, the black cat in like every Pepe cartoon who would miraculously get white paint or white stripe on her. Like she'll be walking under a ladder and like a, a can of paint will fall on her or she'll just be taking a nap and somehow white paint would always leave a streak from like the top of her head all the way down to her tail, which gave her the appearance of a skunk. And basically Pepe would pursue her the entire episode and essentially just be a sexual harasser. So it's just interesting because of the fact that, you know, I've never wanted to be a Pepe Le Pew. I just feel like if nothing else, I was probably more of a Brock from Pokemon instantly getting crushes on girls, but being rejected. I wouldn't just run up to him the same way he would, but it's just interesting because I feel like kids today and i'm not saying that wow jeremy you're championing for a sexual harasser to be portrayed in um cartoons no i just feel like you know this generation might be softer than all mine because i feel like there's way more protection towards you know them as opposed to 
you know, when we were kids, you know, my sister and I watching Tom and Jerry or Roadrunner, um, you know, in the Coyote, Wally Coyote, you know, we knew better than to drop anvils and, you know, slap people, people across the head with hammers or set off fireworks under somebody's chair, that kind of thing. So it just feels like it's hard to enjoy something now. It's hard to enjoy anything nowadays because I feel like there's so many sensors and um, more energy put towards erasing characters and content that already exist as opposed to creating wholesome comment content in today's time because when you think about the cancer culture and whatnot i feel like far more energy is being put towards erasing shows movies and books that already exist as opposed to once again like i'll say it again as opposed to creating wholesome content in the ta- in today's age. But that's just my opinion. So I have really given two thoughts about it. I honestly don't even care about the Space Jam sequel. I'm not going to sit up here and act like, oh, it's ruining the legacy of the first one. No, the first one was definitely a product of its time. I'm glad it was out when I was a kid. Hopefully Space Jam 2 is to this next generation, what Space Jam 1 was to my generation. Uh, will I watch it? Probably. You know, I might find time to get around to watching it. Um... But I believe it was also stated that people who, um, what was it? They were trying to get an early preview or something to Space Jam. And they actually got the Snyder Cut of Justice League. It, oh, no, Tom and Jerry. Sorry, Tom and Jerry. People who were trying to stream Tom and Jerry actually were accidentally shown part of the Snyder Cut of Justice League. But it automatically cut off after a few minutes. So I thought that was pretty interesting. But let me know your thoughts on uh, Pepe Le Pew being canceled. And I remember joking with my mom about the uh, Dr. Seuss thing. I actually got some Berenstein Bears stuff. And I'm like, I'm waiting on them to cancel them for something. And I want to sell that stuff sky high on eBay. So, yeah. Uh, do you care about the cancellation of this cartoon? Who do you think is next? Uh, Johnny Bravo. Um, that's probably the one I think of the most. Because if you watch Johnny Bravo as a kid, but you love, oh man, I'm pretty. Do the monkey with me. Like that entire show was him. He was pretty much a male Pepe Le Pew. When I say male, I mean like a human, you know, male, but whatever. Uh, if you want to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next video.